Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to ATMC's coverage of Brunswick County basketball. I'm Steve Prokop along with Jay Combs, and we're here on the campus of North Brunswick High School where the Lady Scorpions will be taking on the visiting Lady Trojans of, South, of West Brunswick. Jay, what kind of a matchup are we looking at tonight? Well, it should be an exciting one, Steve. The intra-county, right? I mean, when two schools from the same county get together, great things generally happen tonight. We hope we have a great basketball game. Let's talk first about the visiting Trojans from West Brunswick. New coach, interim coach, Kelly Williamson, replaced Mark Jones about two or three weeks ago. And uh, Kelly is a football coach. And when you look at him, he looks like a football coach. And a couple of times I've seen West play since Kelly's come on board. They're playing very disciplined basketball. They're doing much better. They're still trying to get off the slide in the conference. They're 0-6, but 3-7 and overall for the year. They've got plenty of size. They've got six kids that are over 5'10". They rebound well, obviously, 34 boards a game. Their points and rebounds come from two of those big kids, 6'1 senior Lalani Emil. She's averaging 9.7 points per game, 6.5 boards a game, and she blocks 3.5 shots. And 5'10 sophomore Mackenzie Benton. They're very excited about this girl. 10 points a game, 5 boards a game. The team is getting better and will continue to get better as they gain some more experience and, again, figure out a way to use that size and reduce their turnovers. They've had a problem turning over the basketball. Now, these two teams are not in the same conference anymore, but anytime, as you said, about that interconference, that intercounty rivalry, what are we going to expect from North Brunswick? Well, North Brunswick, the Scorpions are playing pretty well. They are 7-6 and six overall. Two and one in their conference. Travis Fortune is the coach here. He's won over 100 games here at North, and he does a real good job. Look, Travis laid it out for us. He said, we're not real big, so we better be real quick. And they <laughs> are pretty quick. They're led by a 5'8 sophomore, Jada Bellamy. This kid's averaging 14 and a half points a game, 3.6 rebounds per contest, and again, only in the 10th grader. Another sophomore, 5'6", Unique Hines, is averaging six points and two rebounds per game. And then another speedy kid, a 5'2", sophomore, Ala Johnson's averaging 6.7 points per game. So Coach Fortune is emphasizing speed. Coach Williamson going to go to the big guys. It's kind of a matchup here, if you will, of wills. We'll see which one comes out on top. I think we're set up for a fun meeting tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy this coverage of Brunswick County basketball on ATMC. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to North Brunswick High School. Tonight's game, the Lady Scorpions and the Lady Trojans of West Brunswick. We're about ready for tip. The starting lineups for West Brunswick High School, RJ. Number five, Bree Small, 12, Natara Gore, 20, Mackenzie Benton, 23, Lalani Emil, and 13, a freshman, Logan Locklear. And for North Brunswick High School, we got number 22, Grayson Deal, number 24, Alaya Johnson, Number 30, Samal Marshall. Number 33, Nikayla Ramsey. And number 42, Jada Bellamy. Start the game off a little bit back and forth. Ball being bounced around. West Brunswick coming down with the rebound, settling things down as freshman. Number 13, Logan Locklear. That's a big step for a freshman to step onto a varsity ball club, Jay. Well, there's two freshmen that start now on West. Gore and Locklear. And uh, it is. When you're playing at the varsity level, you're only in the ninth grade. Uh, you've got a very nice future ahead of you. In some cases, that future's now. West is in a zone. And there's Emil showing her size, picking up a block. She's averaging three and a half blocks a game. That's a deep three right there. Nothing but net. Number 20, Mackenzie Benton. Uh, she that, can shoot. Yes, yeah, you can. And again, with good size at 5'10", and to be able to step out and knock down the three, she's a good one. It looks like we might have a battle here on the three-point. They're going deep, starting it off early. Ball's bouncing around underneath. Again, Lady Trojans come away with it. Uh, West should do well off the boards. North is going to try to pressure them into some turnovers. A little out of control on that one. Ball being pushed up the court by number 33. Nikayla Ramsey going all the way with the foul. 
Well, you like what you see with Ramsey that time, Steve. Again, Coach Fortune wants them to pick up the pace, to move the ball. And that time, you saw it evidenced by Ramsey bringing the ball court end to end. She got fouled, but she's going to go to the line for a pair. First foul on number five, Bree Small for the Lady Trojans. First of the two was good. Nikayla Ramsey tends to push this ball up the court, having seen her in the past this season already and remembering from last year when these two teams matched up. She's definitely an offensive powerhouse. She enjoys driving the lane, getting fouled, getting to the free throw line, if she can capitalize on those free throws. Yeah, she's a, she's a very energetic player, to say the least. You see North, a little full-court pressure. West handles it pretty well, and that'll get into their offense. Emil gets the ball over to the freshman Locklear. As you said, Steve, this is quite, a, quite an opportunity for her. Reed driving the lane, number five. Off the backboard, off the rim. West controls it. Coach doesn't like what he sees, gets a timeout early. We're just a, a minute and 54 seconds into the first quarter. He obviously saw something he didn't like. Well, I don't think he liked the way they were attacking that, that defense that time. They looked a little unsettled, some shots that are going up that probably aren't real good shots. And shooting is a lot about taking good shots. Not only do you have a better chance to make the basket, but you have a better chance to get the rebound. Now, this team is going to rebound simply because they have big kids. they got to learn to control the ball, and they got to learn to take better shots. Kelly's done a nice job here of kind of getting these girls dialed in as far as running a consistent offense, setting picks for each other, uh, and really having them come to understand the game better. I mean, I've seen the progression. He's only been there for at the head at the helm for the past two, three weeks, but you see a difference in the way they're playing. Reed caught in the corner. She gets away from it, handled the pressure out deep. Leilani driving the lane, gets fouled, going to the line for two shots. A much better set that time. You didn't see it quite as disjointed, and, and there was some purpose to what they were doing. That's and the Emil gets to the line now where she shoots a pair. That's the first foul on Jada Bellamy, her first. Two shots for Leilani. Not a real good West free throw shooting team, only 44%. In rims out. Take another crack at it. We've talked about this in the past, Jay, about the free throwing free throws and the importance of it. You just don't see nowadays at the high school level consistent free throw shooting because of many reasons, but what do you think is the biggest contributor to the lack of good quality free throw shooters? Oh, that's easy. They just watch University of North Carolina shoot free throws. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I have no idea. It's a free throw, right? <laughs> but they they have a hard time. There's a nice drive that time by the freshman Locklear. In and out now. North pushing the ball up the court. Decides to pull it out, set up their offense. This is the pace Fortune wants. West settles down into that zone, wants to Make them work for this shot. North takes a look at how the defense has been set up by West, and now they're going to attack. Quick pass down low, turn around, off the backboard, good. Number 42, Jada Bellamy, her first two. Well, that's an excellent pass and a nice catch by Bellamy and turn and shoot. You can see why she's averaging nearly 15 points a game as a 10th grader. Again, the pressure on the press was held, handled nicely. Now Leilani drives the lane, easy two off the board. She looked much more under control on that shot. She had a couple early shots that were open, but not controlled. That time she went to the rack really under control and made a nice shot. Looks like North has decided they're going to go down low to try to break, beat this, uh, this zone defense. Leilani picking up a foul. Well, Nikaila Ramsey is finding the openings in that 2-1-2 two -two zone. A couple of good dishes. This time it's going to send... Bellamy to the line. Not easy to get the ball down low against the, the zone defense like that, especially coming directly from the top of the key. Some massive changes here by uh, West Brunswick High School. Checking into the game, number 10, Ali Ryan. Number 24, Maya Brown. And number 14, Daniels. 
Uh, two free throws for Bellamy. The Lady, Scorp Lady Scorpions keeping the full court press on. So far, it really hasn't been much of a deterrent. I say that as she's about to turn the ball over, and she does. Traveling violation. She realized as soon as she caught it. That's the first time that press has kind of paid off for them, and they weren't able to capitalize on well, it. And West was lucky that time because there was a turnover, but Lockler is trying to bring the ball up the court all by herself. No help whatsoever. There you go. You got a little more help bringing it up this time. They're driving it all the way. Off her toe, it looks like. She loses it out of bounds. Nice. It's one of those turnover issues that has plagued this team. Last, Their last game was against Ashley, last game for West. They won the first quarter 12-5. to five. They ended up losing the game because they had 33 turnovers, which sadly is about their average. Wow. Deep three by number 24. Aliyah Johnson off the front of the rim. West pulls it down. Now it's going to slowly bring the ball up the court. No full court press. Uh, Maya Brown, one of those, another big kid at six foot two. Logan seems to be uh, taking control of the point guard position here. Ball being moved around the, the frame. Ball tipped away. Two on one. Blocked by the freshman. No foul. Pretty nice defense that time by. The freshman, Logan Locklear, not easy to get in the way of Nakala Ramsey. Checking into the game for North Sarah Bell. Checking in for West Brunswick, number 32, Brittany Taylor, and number 21, Christian Strickland. Coach Williamson is using his bench. He's definitely an intense head coach. He's out there on the court. He's yelling directions. Uh, always positive. I don't say it's, it's very uh, encouraging, but at the same time, he has an expectation where he wants these girls on the court, how to handle themselves, and uh, he, he's pushing them to become better. Another turnover and an unforced turnover that time by Brittany Taylor. Possession is so important in any sport, particularly basketball. 3.20 left to go here in the first quarter. Six to five, the Lady Trojans are on top. There's a turnover right there, unforced error. It doesn't have handles on it, Jay. Well, North, uh, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Right now, both these teams could use a nice handle, wouldn't they? Go away, 41, 41. Different point guard, Brittany Taylor, trying to run the offense here for the Lady Trojans. Again, another turnover here, just dribbling, un, not controlling the ball and, and trying to dribble around the defense instead of pass. Randasia looked a little bit tentative that time, and Coach Williamson's going to send in the blue team. I guess we call them the green team, right? Wholesale yeah. substitutions. This green, is, this is it, like Kentucky. <laughs> there you go. You got blue and white. You got the green and white here. Yeah, yeah. Ball being worked around down low again. They're looking to attack that traveling violation. Not, that was a gr good ball movement right there. They're attacking that zone down low, looking to score from the baseline. Unfortunately, moved the feet a little bit too much. Well, it's, it's, this kid Bellamy, is, he's legit. She's hitting the ball, making her safe available inside. Oh. Got away with one right there by Logan. Perhaps. Leilani, traveling violation there. Looked like a good move to me. She did a she little did. ball fake. The ball fake got the defender up in the air. And Emil goes to the rack then, but she was called called uh, for traveling. That ball fake is, again, one of those fundamentals that gets so overlooked but is so, so important. You think about yourself when you're playing basketball. You want to be that guy who blocks the ball. You're going to go for that fake a lot of times. It's, it's hard to stay on your feet and play defense staring at the midsection of the of the offensive player. Again, going down the middle of the lane there on that zone. Gets fouled, going two to the line. That's a very nice one-two combination with Ramsey and Bellamy. Ramsey willing to give up the basketball. Bellamy making herself a good target, has good hands to catch. She's going to go back to the line for a pair. First foul on Logan Locklear. Team's third. Checking back into the game, Allie Ryan for the Lady Trojans. 
Bellamy three for three from the stripe here in the first quarter. Kiana Johnson coming in for the Scorpions. And this, this is a nice looking ball player here. Jada Bellamy, nice touch on the ball. Ball's locked up. We're going to go to the alternate possession. The Scorpions will keep the ball. Good effort that time by a sophomore, Unique Hines, for North. Had good position inside of Emil. Deep three off the inbounds. Doesn't go, but they get the follow-up. And Jada Bellamy again comes to the boards and gets the rebound. And again, another nice play by time by number 11, Unique Hines, who blocked out the defender and allowed Bellamy to get the rebound and the putback. Bree Small took a point there for a second. Ball dribbled off the foot again. Last touch by the Scorpions. They're going to have the possession for that Lady Trojans. Yeah, Hines with good hustle, and the, the Scorpions are really putting the, the kind of turning up the heat defensively. And there it is, another turnover. That that, that pressure is being, putting, uh, putting problems, causing problems now for the Lady Trojans. Bellamy again, Steve. You keep working hard down low, that ball tends to find you. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Foul's called on number 23, Leilani Emil. That's her second personal foul. Seven points in the quarter for the 5'8 sophomore, Jada Bellamy. First half's good. Came in tonight averaging 14 and a half points a game. She's got nine already. Chance to make it ten. Maya Brown back into the game for the Lady Trojans. Hits both of them. And she gets a breather here with 141 to go in the first corner. She's replaced by number 30, Samal Marshall. Bree's a senior here for the Lady Trojan. She's handled this uh, type of pressure for a number of years. It's now what can we do with it now that she's broken that trap? They're gonna, she's going to get lucky and get uh, bailed out there, quite honestly, with a foul. A small that time, fortunate. She picked up her dribble. When you pick up your dribble, you can anticipate having more than one scorpion all over you. Unique Hines picks up her first foul. That's only the second team foul for the Lady Scorpions. Once again, another turnover. Hate to beat a dead horse, but the turnovers have been probably as much, if not the biggest problem for West, certainly here this evening and throughout much of the year. Lady Trojans sticking with that zone defense here. And again, they get attacked down low. Unfortunately, the, the Lady Scorpions missed the layup, but they're definitely finding the seams in that defense. Well, that's a shot that Bellamy normally would have had and uh, likely would have made it. Cross-court pass for the shot, missed. Ball's bouncing around. Lady Scorpions come away with it, pushing up the court. Got a four on three. Now that defense is settling back in here. That's a double dribble right there. She realized it, I think, as soon as she did it. Well, and, and you hit it right on the head. She picked up her dribble. When you pick up your dribble, bad things generally happen, okay? You force her into a uh, turnover by double dribbling. Directions being shouted out by Coach Williamson. Thank you. Coach Fortune keeps the pressure up. West thus far had a hard time handling it. Again, here we go. Logan picked up her dribble, and now she's stuck. And he gets a traveling violation. If, if you are going to pick up your dribble, your teammates got to come to you. They got to make themselves a target. They need to come to the basketball. Locklear, only a freshman, Steve. She won't be making those same mistakes. 
in a very short time. There's definitely a learning curve that takes place here at this level. I mean, you think just uh, nine months ago she was finishing up her job. Oh, almost gets away with the pass right there. Unfortunately, he's going to get stuck with a foul. She read it right. She saw the ball was being cross-court pass just a second behind. Yeah, she was... She read it right. You're absolutely correct. So good anticipation on her part. And in but, the process, committed a foul. That's a foul you can live with. That's her second personal foul. Team's fifth. Drive the lane. Gets caught from behind there by number 20, Mackenzie Benton. She's going to pick up the foul. I'll tell you what. Travis Fortune's kids do a really good job of keeping their head up and seeing what's ahead of them, trying to get the ball to a teammate that's closer to the basket. Unique Hines on the line here for two shots, hitting the first one. 5'6", sophomore, averaging six points, a couple of boards a game, has come in and given good minutes here this evening. Hits the second one. 4.1 seconds left to go. Let's see what West Brunswick can do as far as getting the ball down the court and getting a shot off. She gets a shot off from half court. Off the backboard. No good. That brings us to the end of time in the first quarter. 12-6. to six. The Lady Scorpions started off a little slow but definitely figured out how to break that zone defense that the Lady Trojans have been applying. Uh, we'll be right back after these messages to see if... West Brunswick can come back and figure out a way to start taking away that pressure on the full court press. We're on the coverage here on ATMC's high school basketball in Brunswick County. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the campus of North Brunswick High School in Brunswick County for ATMC's coverage of the ladies Trojans and the Lady Scorpions. I'm Steve Prokop along with Jay Combs bringing you the coverage tonight. Enjoying the first quarter, Bree drives the lane for the Lady Trojans. It comes up a little bit short. Now the pressure being pushed, pushed hard. Ball bouncing around a little bit. Seems a little bit out of control right now. They need to set up the offense, and that's exactly what Elijah Johnson does. Shot up and no good. Brought down by number 12, Tyra Gore. Again, nice effort by West, moving the ball around and getting a good shot. Logan Locklear for three, off the backboard, no good. Rebound by the Lady Trojans, though. Ball bounces around again, comes up with a rebound, missed again. Tipping around, tipping around, ball missed again. Another shot, and she's fouled. That's good hustle right there, scrappy basketball. Well, that's what they can do. That's their strength in rebounding the basketball. And they got kids that are big and tall. They had five shots that time, weren't able to convert. But you can see the value of offensive rebounds in that uh, sequence. Going to go to the line now and shoot a pair. Aliyah Johnson picking up her first personal foul. That's only the team's third here in the first half. Mackenzie Benton hits the first of two. Crowd streaming in. Uh, we got about three-fourths full right now, I would say, but I anticipate we'll be have a full packed house here for this inter-county rival by the time we're finished the game, getting ready for the boys' game later on. <laughs> Traveling violation. Again, the unforced errors that kill you every time. They can't, do. Can't have it. Well, you certainly can't have them in the volume that we're seeing here this evening from both teams. West very fortunate to only be five down despite all the turnovers. And there's another one. Yep. Seems like a lot of dribbling instead of really looking for the uh, movement of the players. We're, we're trying to create the space but instead of passing the ball, they're trying to dribble around. Uh, Wes is going to come out. Looks like they're going to play a little man. Ball's bouncing around. They're going to tie it up. I think North was a little surprised at that man coverage right there. 
Uh, Gratian Deal that time had a had an opportunity for a shot, passed it up, but she was able to get the ball inside. Then the then the uh, the ping pong game started. So somehow North comes up with the ball. Now There's he turns steal. it over to West. Steal on the inbounds right there. Nice job by number 24, Maya Brown. There's some good ball movement right there. Open shot off the board. Strong rebound by West. Bounces around, can't get it to fall. Good positioning right there. She had a good shot at it. Ball being pushed up court. West was a little lax in getting back on defense right there. She grabs her own rebound, ends up passing it off, and she gets fouled. Number 12, Taja Bowling gets fouled. She'll be going to the line for two shots. That time again, Logan Locklear sort of got caught in a bad position and came swiped down on the basketball. Nine times out of ten, you're going to pick up a foul, whether it is or whether it isn't. In this instance, I think the officials had it absolutely correct. According to me, I've got three fouls on Logan. It looks like she's going to have to come out of the game being replaced by number 32, Brittany Taylor. A couple changes for North Brunswick as well. Jada Bellamy back into the game as well as number 11, Unique Hines. Tasha Bowling on the line for two shots. This is the second of two. Second half is good, and she comes out replaced by Nikayla Ramsey. Some confusion on the court as to what is taking place. Well, Coach Fortune thinks it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Coach Williamson upset in the fact that the referee blew the whistle to uh, hold off on the inbounds play, saying that that allowed North Brunswick to set up their defense. They had already substituted. That's a deep three. Ball bounces off. West Brunswick gets the rebound on the, on the weak side. Goes up strong and gets fouled. The Tyra Gore comes down with the board. Not a bad shot by Benton. Jada Bellamy picking up her second personal foul, putting the, on the line the uh, Tyra Gore. First off at the front of the rim. Steve, that's a good example of what happens. You take a, a good shot, even if you miss it, you're in a much better position to get an, an offensive rebound than when you just throw it up haphazardly. Second one, they're going to wave it off on a lane violation, head the other direction for North Brunswick. And again, here's that's a turnover technically because you're, you're, you're giving them a, a chance to, to get the ball without having done anything. As you stated earlier, it doesn't have a handle. So <laughs> it's sometimes hard to hold on to. West Brunswick back into that uh, zone defense. Deep three from the baseline. West Brunswick was in position to get the rebound. Now the ball being pushed up by Bree. Small, she drives the lane off the backboard, gets her own rebound, kicks it back out, open three, off the front of the rebound, no good. They're getting open shots. Good looks. And uh, Small does a nice job following up on her missed shot to give them that second opportunity. Rachel Neville stepping into the game here for the first time for the Lady Trojans. Grayson Deal hasn't scored a point yet for North. She's their captain. And I remember seeing her in the past. She's a good outside shooter. Traveling violation. A little pressure put on by the defense of the West Brunswick. Causing another turnover. We're trying to track points. Fouls. Rebounds. We should be tracking turnovers. <laughs> Allie Ryan into the game for the Trojans. Pressure being put on Bree Small. She seems to be handling it. Kicks it out wide. Moving around the perimeter, back to Bree Small. Brittany Taylor kind of stuck, but lost her dribble. And another traveling violation. Well, I don't know that there's a good spot on the court to pick up your dribble, but I can tell you where she was at that time. That's one of the worst, because all of a sudden, 
you have the other team defending you, but you have the end line and the side and the uh, sideline too. They become extra defenders. Ball being worked around the perimeter for the Scorpions. Looking for that seam down low. They seem to find it. Now go out and even lower. Good opportunity comes away with it. Now push, being pushed up the court by Allie Ryan. Looking for somebody open down low. Nothing there. Bree Small kicking the ball around the corner. Now Fortune's team does a nice job of moving the basketball offensively. And there's another unforced error. And Kelly Williamson is going to, he's a football coach. He coaches down in South Carolina. He's the interim coach at West for the remainder of this season. I think he's about a minute from rolling out the pads and the, and the football helmets to these kids. <laughs> Four ten to go here in the second quarter. Lady Scorpions up 13 to 7. Deep three by the Scorpions off the front of the rim. Get the rebound. Here she is to put it back up. Going to the line. Jada Bellamy again. She's in position to get that rebound. Nice, nice player is Jada Bellamy. One of these kinds of kids that seems to be in the right place or players that seems to be in the right place at the right time as it relates to the basketball. That's probably not by luck. <laughs> first half good. That's the first personal foul on Ali Ryan. Eighth team foul, so they'll be in the bonus here for the next four minutes. Second half in and out, ball bounce around. Traveling violation, looks like she came away with the ball, just kind of took to her feet. Unfortunate position to be in to get called for that traveling violation. And now here comes the pressure. And West has had a very difficult time in dealing with this all night long, and they're gonna have a problem right now. Ball inbound to Bree Small. She's dribbling around. Now she's setting up the offense. There's a little senior leadership right there. She kind of broke the press and said, all right, now let's really start running the offense. Again, ball has been picked up on the dribble. You lose that, that dribble. Luckily enough, they stay keep possession of the ball underneath. Well, Rachel Neville that time wasn't quite in position to receive that basketball. It was the right pass. West, again, not able to complete the play. Bree Small with the rebound and the foul, count it. Again, right position, the right time. Saw the three-point going up, came on the weak side, picked up the trash rebound and put it in with the foul. Well, West Brunswick really needed that. Nice effort by Bree Small. You mentioned she being a senior. She plays with a little more composure. And this is not a big stage for her as opposed to some of the younger players. Ball bounced around, can't complete the three-point play, but Neville picks up the rebound, tries to put it back in. Doesn't come away with it either. Well, West Brunswick could have cut that lead to three. Looked like Unique Hines had gotten poked, an incidental contact on a poke into the eye. Yeah. She's being replaced right now by yep. Samal Marshall, and we have wholesale changes for West Brunswick. You know, Steve, that's a pretty good run by that uh, second unit or the reserves for West Brunswick. They still have the game within five. In fact, they've chipped away a point from that first quarter lead. Back to that zone defense here. Let's see if they can close up that seam down low. They're looking for it. It's not there. Now she works it down low. Good good back backboard shot right there. Nice layup. Again, they do a wonderful job of good penetration and making, putting themselves in position for good shots. The counter by West doesn't work out. Now she's driving the lane off the backboard. Rebound by Samal. She's going to the line for two. Now, Samal Marshall, another 10th grader. This is a pretty young North Brunswick team. They get a lot of productivity out of young players, and Marshall being one of them, a 5'9 sophomore. Natalia Gore picked up her first personal foul. Ball bounces in and out. She's going to be re replaced by Maya Brown. North shoots 41.3% from the stripe as a team. 
Last touch by the Lady Scorpions, West Lady Trojans ball. Well, 24, Maya Brown's a big kid. Once she establishes position inside, hard to move her off the box. Emil driving the lane off the backboard. That's a nice little drive right there for the Lady Trojans. Oh, she needs a, to get heated up. Yeah, that was a nice drive. She really, really went to the basket that time with purpose. Unforced error passed out of bounds. Lady Trojans ball. They're only five points down here with 235 to go. The Lady Scorpions 16 to 11 right now. Ball handled well by Logan. Emil saw the move in her head before she put the ball on the court. She had the right idea. Again, that ball fake. Put the ball down without traveling, without double dribbling. Easy said, hard to do sometimes, but the right idea. Our, our eyes light up when we see what we're go about to do. It's a matter of making sure we do the basic mechanics yeah, first. It's kind of like me and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> a nice block by Emil. Trojans come down with the rebound, and then they get to the tie up for the jump ball. Alternate possessions going to go with the Lady Trojans ball. That's, uh, that's Bellamy again. Uh, she's kind of a precocious player. Got a big smile on her face. Scorpions keep putting up. Now, unfortunately, that's that's where you don't want to pick up your dribble. The turnover again on four. She picked up her dribble right, right there, just across the half court. You can't do that. Well, again, you, the lines then become extra defenders. Driving the lane off the, off the rim. Emil comes up with the rebound. Going to get lucky there and get away call with a, uh, a blocking call on Nikayla. Nikayla does not seem pleased with it. <laughs> but she'll have something to say uh, regardless, right? She's a, she's a feisty kid. And this is a real nice timeout, I think, by Coach Kelly Williamson. Despite yep. all the turnovers and the poor shooting and the poor shots, he's only down five. Not a bad position to be in right now. I mean, you, you look at how many turnovers they've had so far, and they haven't been able to capitalize on as much as the North Brunswick turnovers. He's got to, they got to clean up what they're doing a little bit, but you're right. They're in this ballgame right now. Two offensive possessions for them, and they're, they're, in, they're in the lead. Well, plus, I think the kids were just a little physically spent and maybe mentally spent here. So that's a nice, you can't take these timeouts with you. May as well utilize them. So with 146 to go here in the half, it's a good time to kind of get back together and uh, rethink particularly this possession. If they can come down and execute and really run a good possession and get some points, makes a whole lot of difference as the remainder of this half goes on. Got 146 here left to go in the second quarter. West Brunswick possession. They've only got 16 fouls on North Brunswick, so they still got another foul to give here. Now Locklear's still in the game with three fouls, so she's got to be careful. Going to call traveling violation by rolling around on the ground. And I, I, I'm not a coach. I never will be. But I guarantee you that is not the play that Coach Williamson drew up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not what you're hoping for coming out of a timeout there. You know, they even track those kinds of that statistics now. What kind of a success rate you have out of a timeout. West Brunswick hoping to pick up their defense here for the last minute and a half to go here in this in this first half. Well, they may very well take it down. North Brunswick trying to find that seam. It looks like they're closing up that down low a little bit better this time. That's a deep three off the baseline. No good. Ball bounces deep. She gets the rebound. Nice little running one-hander. Emil comes away with the rebound. Is she going to go? There's another blocking foul. Fouls on number 24, Aliyah Johnson. That puts West Brunswick into the bonus with 1.12 to go. 
I uh, need both shots here from Lalani Emil, the 6'1 senior, averaging nearly 10 points a game. First ball bounces around and goes through the net. And you're talking about the, the poor free throw shooting across all levels. You got to give the ball a chance, you know, touch, get it up around the rim. It doesn't have to necessarily swish through. She makes both of them, brings it down to 16 13. It's a lot of confidence, too, Steve. You make that first one, the second one gets a lot easier. <laughs> Ball being around, worked around the perimeter. One minute to go, one minute to go in the first half. Doesn't seem like they're in any rush to push this offense right now. They're working the ball around the perimeter, waiting for an open shot, not and found. That's a nice little anticipation on Logan Locklear right there to pick that off. And with three personal fouls. Now is it West Brunswick? Looks like they're going to wait, uh, run the clock down a little bit. Can't dribble the ball in front of her. Oh, we get lucky right there with the, the turnover. <laughs> Fouls on number 33. Nikayla Ramsey, her second personal foul. Tyra Gore is at the line for two shots. A first half rims in and out. Checking into the game, Grayson Deal for North Brunswick. Gore, a 5'10 freshman, one of these players of uh, the future for West. Another lane violation. She realized she wasn't going to be making that shot. She tried to get in too quick before the ball had hit the rim. 28.7 seconds to go. Now both these teams got to play smart these last 28.7 seconds. West Picked brings out dribble. some pressure. Handles it well, gets it up. Back Again, out to Grayson Lock Deal. Locklear's got to be careful not to pick up that fourth. There's the pressure. There's another turnover. They were trying to get that ball down to Jada Bellamy there with 14 seconds to go. Now let's see what Wes Brunswick can do. Uh, Williamson doing a nice job of a little offense defense, getting his score back into the game. Emil. And you see more West Brunswick players up to help combat this pressure. That's a nice That's inbound a super play. Inbound play right there. That Beat the presser very easily. Throws up three-pointer. Ball bounces around. She had a lot more time than she thought she had. Three-pointer at the ball's going to count. That basket was got got in before was released before the buzzer. Guess who? Jada Bellamy, who is always in the right place at the right time, and that time it paid off in a a basket with uh, time expiring. Back and forth first half right there. We'll be back in just a minute to give you a little first half wrap up. We are here in North Brunswick High School in Leland in Brunswick County. It was the score 18 to 13. The Lady Scorpions over the Lady Trojans. You're watching ATMC High School Basketball. And we're going to just continue on here now at the start of the second half. The possession arrow pointing towards the Lady Scorpions. Ball inbound, deep three to start the second half. Nothing but net. S Sarah Bell Sarah. dropping three. Sarah, Sarah, sophomore, where you been, baby? That's, that's what Travis Fortune's been looking for. Somebody to make a shot from way outside. It's going to open up that inside even more. Steps in right out of the locker room. Drops nothing but net from deep. Locklear tries to drive the lane, do a little turnaround, doesn't get to go. Scorpions push the ball up the court. Missed shot. That's one of the one of the few shots by Jada Bellamy hasn't been on so yeah, far but, this half. She did everything right, but just didn't make the shot. An excellent ball fake, a good look, just didn't convert. 
Pretty small looking for some help right there. Leilana help, helps her out across court. She drives, she pushed off a little bit, got away with it a little bit there as well. She's a big kid to defend. Ball being worked around the perimeter again. Cross court pass, trying to find the seam in that zone. Locklear anticipates the pass, picks it off, steals it away. Drives the lane, push, shot, miss. Ball tipped around, staying right there with the Lady Trojans. You know, already with Locklear, don't you sense, like, you know, she's got the first half, the butterflies away, if you will. She's playing a little more under, uh, you know, with composure. D3, nothing but air. Bree comes away with the rebound, gets knocked the ball, gets knocked around. She can't find anybody to help her out. Yeah, not a place you want to be dribbling. They're going to call a foul out at the top of the key. And that's not a good that's not good news for West. I think it was on Locklear. That is, that's number four according to my statistics. Ball blocked right there by Emil. Good effort that time by Emil. Bree driving the lane, getting down on the baseline, kicks it back out to Locklear. She's looking for the three. She has trouble right there, just lost the handle on it. Well, as soon as I said that Logan was playing with a little more composure, she's turned the ball over once and picked up her fourth foul. So that's on me, Logan, not you. <laughs> and right there, uh, Leilani Emil picks up her third personal foul. That's two quick fouls there on the Lady Trojans. Well, that hurts if uh, Emil's got to sit. First half's in and out for Nikayla Ramsey. Locklear has to come out of the game with 6-11 to go in the third quarter and is replaced by Ali Ryan. <laughs> Off the back of the rim, but they come away with the rebound and a traveling violation. West. West Brunswick got bailed out a little bit right there. Well, they got a good break. Unique Hines had established good inside position. Leilani helps her out get the ball into court. She likes bringing the ball up to court. Not often you see your center bringing the ball up to court. And they're going to call the foul on Mackenzie Benton. Trying to set a pick for a meal. And you got your big guys who, or big girls who are suddenly becoming your ball handlers. I guess things like that can happen. Two minutes into the third quarter here in North Brunswick High School, 21 13, the Lady Scorpions are on top. Ball being worked around. Again, that defense is packed in there on that zone by West Brunswick. Well, I think they're kind of asking North to make a look, make a couple of shots from outside, and yeah. there's one. Michaela Ramsey dropping the three. Haven't seen her taking many opportunities right there. She's like trying to been trying to pass the ball around. We get another turnover, breakaway. Alaya Johnson can't complete and finish it, and then comes back and makes a foul. That's a frustration foul right there. Yeah, and a fortunate foul for uh, West Brunswick because that could easily have been a putback and, and would have doubled the, the lead at 26-13, 24-13 right now with 5.21 to go. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. Still playing in West. Elijah Johnson has to come out of the game. That's her third personal foul, replaced by great Grayson Deal. Bree steps back off the front of the rim, can't come away with the rebound, then loses it. She loses it off herself. West Brunswick gets a break right there. Is going to keep the ball underneath. So West trying to use their front front court to bring the basketball up court. Good move by Bree. Open shot. Nothing but air. Last touch by the Lady Trojans. So Tyra Gore had her hand on it, just couldn't bring it in. Samal Marshall checking into the game for the Lady Scorpions. 
as well as Randasia Daniels for the Lady Trojans. West going to pick him up full court, or at least apply pressure. She's going to beat it by, by the dribble. Little running one-hander. That's Daniel's first personal foul. But it is going to put Nikayla Ramsey on the line for two shots. Four fifty-seven. Lady Scorpions up 24-13. 11 point lead here. These are going to see how important these free throw shoot shots come. This is both ends, but they get the rebound. And then stolen away. Everybody's kind of yelling backcourt, but it most definitely was not. Both feet and the ball have to cross the line. Ball bounced around and foul and a basket. Foul's called on Grayson Deal, her first foul. Looked like Emil was driving the lane, lost control of it, and it was picked up by Allie Ryan. She made the basket and hits to complete the three-point play. Made the three the old-fashioned way did Allie Ryan. That helps uh, West quite a bit. Things were starting to slip away. Deal for three off the rim. They get the rebound. That's Bellamy. Kicks it back out. Timeout going to be called by Coach Fortune. He didn't like what he saw. They're still up by 12 points right now. Uh, I'm sorry, they're only up by eight, chipping away at that lead. Yeah, I don't think Travis liked that whole sequence there. The quick shot wants him to settle down a little bit and work for a better shot. They're going to need to shoot a little bit more from the outside. That's because West is packing it in. They have hit two threes in the third quarter. It seems like that offense that they were running earlier in the first quarter where they were able to find that seam in the defense is not there anymore. Well, I think in part that's because of some adjustments that West has made. They, they packed it in to begin with. They packed it in even a little tighter. So that's going to open up the outside shots and force North to make some of them. It's 432, 24 to, 30, 24 to 16, the Lady Scorpions. Ball being entered inbounds off the baseline. Ball tipped up into the air. Bellamy comes away with it, kicks it back out, no shot. Kicks it back around to the top of the key. Now back into the middle of the zone, back outside. Good ball movement right there. Good shot, didn't come, come away with it, but it was a nice open shot. Yeah, Coach Fortune's got to be pleased with that sequence. They did, really did a nice job of moving the ball. Driving all the way in basket. Randasia Daniels. Randasia Daniels with the run in one hander. I don't know if we can call that a teardrop, Steve, but <laughs> we can't call it two points. Down to six points right now. Trojans hanging in there, chipping away. Open three pointer. That's off the back of the backboard. Not a whole lot else. Saved by West, only to go towards the, the Trojan, the Lady Scorpions again. That's a good job that time. Good decision by Ramsey to pull it back out. Can hear Williamson, Coach Williamson, saying to stay back, stay back, make him shoot. It's a nice drive of the lane. Doesn't drop for it. She gets a rebound and then unfortunately gets called for the foul. So if North doesn't make those shots, advantage West. If the ball comes out in the, the angle that it should normally come out for a missed shot because they got the bigger kids inside. Now Coach Fortune has a difficult decision to make right here. That's according to me, Nikayla Ramsey's fourth personal foul. She's gonna be coming out of the game. She does a pretty good job of handling the, the basketball, but she does a great job of energy for this team. She's a, she's a pretty Neville feisty checks kid. into the game for the West Brunswick. This Lady Trojans. Good effort by, by Fortune now, dialing up the pressure. Close to 10 seconds. 10 second violation. So some good uh, tactical efforts by both coaches here. And this game is still tight. 
Six-point difference with 3.19 to go in the third quarter. Deep three, nothing but net. Well, that's the danger. You choose your poison. And I, as I in indicated earlier, I know Deal can shoot well from the outside. It's her first basket of the night. West Brunswick broke the trap, uh, broke the press that time, only the ball to get tipped away underneath. She was trying to go down low to number 24, Maya Brown. She just couldn't handle it. Well, Maya was in the right spot. Just a little bit of an awkward position for her to catch that ball and go up. And West did a nice job on breaking that press there, a little give and go. Foul's caught on number 14, Randeja Daniels, her second personal foul. That's the fifth personal foul, team foul, on the Lady Trojans. Having some trouble getting the ball in, gets it in, ball off the backboard. They're fighting it over each other. Now kicks way back outside. That's going to be a backcourt violation. Uh, one of Bellamy's few mistakes of the game. So she just kind of got a little frustrated there for a second and just wanted to kick it back out to the top. Got a little overzealous at that point. <laughs> so here we got some wholesale substitutions coming in for West Brunswick. And Logan Locklear steps back onto the court there with four fouls. She's going to have to be careful. We're only two, four, two minutes and 41 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Emil looked to take the three-pointer, kicked it back around to Locklear, then to Small, then back to Locklear. She drives the lane, finds finds Benton, who goes to Emil. She drives the lane again. There she picks it up. Natyra Gore with the offside rebound, stuffing it back in. Gore, right place, right time. Only a freshman, five foot ten. Big future ahead for her. They're going to give her that three four, three point shot. And she decided not to take it. Drives the lane and foul. Good job that time by Hines, penetrating and getting off the shot, and drawing the foul from Liani Emil. And that's her fourth personal foul as well. So now the Lady Trojans have two girls with four fouls. First half no good. Unique Hines missing the front end of the one on one. And neither, neither team other than uh, Bellamy really distinguishing themselves from the free throw line. Emil has to come out with those four personal fouls, and she's replaced by Maya Brown. Clips the front of the rim, finishes the second half of the free throws. 28 to 20 with two minutes, five seconds to go. Bree Small bringing up the court, and it's going to pick up a cheap foul on on Sarah Bell. A good job that time by Bree Small advancing the ball up court. Making that free throw that time was important for North because it allowed them to get into their press. But West handled it and picked up a foul. See Mackenzie Benton going to bring the ball in. I don't know if this kid's been out of the game all night. <laughs> she, she's a horse. Got to help her. That's a double dribble. A double dribble. Yep. And, and Bree knew it, too. Give you, give you credit for a beautiful smile, Bree. <laughs> but you got to give that ball over. <laughs> 150 left to go. The 28-20 score here in North Brunswick. The Scor Lady Scorpions kind of uh, happy to sit out here. Pass the ball around the zone right now. Doesn't look like they're in any rush to score. It's up to Wes Brunswick to put the pressure on him at this point. So far, Coach Williamson really no. hasn't said for them to come out and attack. Well, this is not a bad effort by Fortune here. He's saying, look, we, we got an eight-point lead. Goes down to the baseline, and they get the foul. Take your time, work for a good shot, and you put your best free throw shooter at the line in Jada Bellamy. Fouls on number 12, Natalia Gore, her second personal foul. Team's seventh, but that's going to put Bellamy on the line for two shots. It's almost like West Brunswick kind of fell asleep for a second. She found a little scene behind the defense. They got the ball down low, and she went up with it immediately. 
Uh, she's good at finding that little seam. And she's even better at catching the basketball and being productive with it. Rachel Neville checking into the game for the Lady Trojans. Second half is good. She hits one 50% of the, of the free throws right, right there. 29 to 20 with 120 to go in the third quarter. And again, making that free throw allows them to get into their press. But Bree Small doing a much better job of controlling the basketball. Foul called on Elia Johnson. Her fourth personal foul. Now we're starting to see some of those fouls tick up. You've got two teammates for the Scorpions with four fouls, Johnson and Ramsey. And then you've got two for West Brunswick with Emil and Locklear. Important inbound play for West. Locklear's back out, out on the court now with the ball at the top of the key. Moving the ball around. That's a deep three right there. Looks like the ball got tipped. She misses. Rebound comes away by the Lady Scorpions. Good defense by Bree Small right there. Wide open three-point shot. In and out. Rebound by Neville. She comes a strong away with it. Kicks it out to Bree Small. Kicks it out to settle it down there by Locklear. Still a lot of time. No need for... West to rush. Shot from the top of the key and misses, misses the rim. Locklear has to be careful. You can see she was about to reach and then realized, wait a minute, I can't do this. Good job by bowling that time, pulling it back. Got 23 seconds to go, and they're happy to pull it out and wait, run it down for one shot. Wide open shot. Comes up short. Ball kicked back out. Still nine seconds to go on the clock. Again, short. Neville with the rebound. Kicks it out to Locklear. She's got three seconds to go. Kicks it over. Nice layup. Nicely done by the West Brunswick Trojans. Nicely done right there. That ball was moved very well down the court with time on the clock. Maya Brown puts it in off the backboard. Excellent, excellent look that time by the freshman, Logan Locklear. She's had a tough night here this evening, but that time showed you a glimpse of why she's starting at the varsity level. Really nice pass. Very under control right there. You can see when she received the outlet pass from Neville, she immediately looked up at the clock to see how much time she had, realizing you can cover a lot of ground in four and a half seconds. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kids don't realize that. Four and a half seconds in a basketball game can be an eternity. Plenty of time to do a lot of productive things, and Locklear did that time, and, and Maya Brown with a nice catch and finish. So at, at the end of the third quarter, we're looking at the Lady Lady Scorpions 29, the Lady Trojans 22. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to ATMC's coverage of the Lady Scorpions versus the Lady Trojans here in Brunswick County. We're in Leland, North Carolina. We're starting the fourth quarter, 29-22. Bree Small driving the lanes, got an open shot off the backboard and good. Lead is now down. To five, to five points, chipping away. Well, it's a, again another nice effort by Small, and this second half she's done a much better job of controlling and maintaining possession of the ball. Again, Locklear reading that pass, dishing it over to Small. Small under control, off the backboard. Count two more. Another good, another good look by Locklear. Another nice finish by Bree Small. And we got ourselves a game here, Stephen. West Brunswick fans here starting to get into it. I haven't heard a whole lot of cheering from the uh, the Lady Scorpions crowd right now. These kids have gone a long time without a win. These kids being West Brunswick, only three wins for the season. Ball being moved around down to the baseline. And that looks like a cheap one right there. Foul called on number 20, Mackenzie Benton. Her third personal foul. I think they were afraid for a second that it was Lilani may have picked up her fourth. So that's I'm a, sorry, that's a good trade. Fifth. That's a good trade. That is a good trade as far as West is either. concerned. You don't want to lose either one of those kids, but uh, that's a good trade. That put Bellamy on the line. Hits the front end of the first uh, of two shots. Bellamy 13 now, 14 points. So she's right at her game average for the season. Ramsey checking back into the game. First time we've seen her since her fourth foul a while back. 
Second half bounces off the back of the rim, but they get the rebound. Leilana has to be careful. Ball tips around. Kicks it back out. Looks like what North Brunswick will be setting it up. Good hustle that time by Grayson Deal. She's a senior. She's been through all this for a long time. 6.45 left to go in the, the fourth quarter here. 30-26. to 26. North Brunswick in charge. Moving the ball around down low. Nice little re Nice little back shot right there. That was... Nikayla Ramsey coming into the game and having an immediate effect. Well, in the first half, Ramsey gave up, gave some good shots to Bellamy. That time, Bellamy did the same thing. Ball knocked around, ball bouncing around. West Brunswick comes away with it, kicks it back out top to Emil. Timeout's going to be called by Coach Williamson there. He didn't like what he saw as far as the urgency. That's another real good timeout by Coach Kelly Williamson. He's, you know, there's a, there's an ebb and flow, right? And, and you want to maintain and control the pace of the game. And when old Moe's looking your way, you want to keep him looking your way. Things were getting a little helter-skelter after the two quick buckets to start the fourth quarter. So he calls the timeout to settle things down, and let's run something legit coming out of this timeout. You, you could sense the excitement, correct, Jay. It was, uh, you could feel it was almost too, too fast. They weren't running the offense, weren't under control as they were on the past two possessions. Yeah, fast is not the, the favorite for the Trojans. Fast is very much the favorite for North. So sometimes it's a battle of wills as to which team can will out over the other. See what they can do in this inbound play. Emil with the wide open shot. Over, but nice rebound. West Brunswick comes away with the rebound again and then loses it. That's not a bad shot by Emil. She just wasn't able to convert. That's a walk. They're going to call a traveling violation right there. Yep. And that's a break for West Brunswick. So the turnover issues continue, although I think West has... Handled the basketball a little bit better here in the second half. There's a three-point shot by West. Again, nothing but air. Problem when you have the big girls outside shooting, there's no big girls inside rebounding. West packing it in on that defense again. They're just kind of floating back and forth. I think uh, North Brunswick's going to be content to kind of take some time off this clock. Time is uh, their friend right now, not uh, West Brunswick. They're taking the air out of the ball, that's for sure. So there's, been a, there's been a lot of discussion here this year, the games that I have attended, about the need for a possible shot clock in high school basketball. What do you think, Jack? Uh, I, I think it's long overdue. Uh, in Maryland, where we're from, Steve, the girls have it, the boys don't. I think everybody should have it. Ball to get turned over, a missed pass on the on the outbreak. And Coach Fortune not happy with his girls this time, well, so he's going to call and, timeout. And again, a good coach taking a good timeout because North has got this under control right now if they don't let it slip away, and they're letting it slip away on that possession. They were lucky to not have that turn into points. We're looking at 5.04 left to go here in the fourth quarter. In this intercounty matchup of the Lady Trojans and the Lady Scorpions, the Scorpions are ahead 32-26. Foul troubles, you're already in the bonus if you're uh, the Scorpions, meaning you're shooting on every time you get fouled. If you are West Brunswick, you still got two more to go before you're going to be shooting the free throws. We've got two girls in trouble for both teams with four fouls being uh, uh, Lia Johnson and Nikayla Ramsey for the Scorpions and Locklear and Emil for the Lady Trojans. So now Coach Williamson changes uh, changes the defense coming out of the, the timeout. Looks like a combination zone and a man. And they left Unique Hines alone. Oh, they more or less said, go ahead and shoot if you want. And another turnover, not looking for the pass. Again, he's flipped his offense and moved his front court people into the back court to bring the ball up and to shoot the basketball as well. West Brunswick's going to have to make a move defensively at one point or another where they're putting pressure on the ball. They're not even covering Unique Hines right now. They, she could sit there and hold the ball the entire, entire fourth quarter. 
Well, it looks like Locke here is being guarded, is guarding Deal. And number five, Bree Small, is guarding 33, Ramsey. Looks like North got bailed out there. Fouls called on number 20, Mackenzie Benton. Her fourth personal foul. That's now we're uh, now we're in trouble if you're Mackenzie Brent Benton. Got to be real careful. They need her in this game coming down the last four minutes. That puts Elijah Johnson on the line for a one and one. She misses the first half. Ball tipped away. West Brunswick ball. It's not been a big scoring night this game for Benton. She's got four points. But she's an important, important player on this team. And Co only a sophomore. Coach Fortune keeping the pressure on with the man-to-man -man full court press. Emil is going to get... She's had that three or four times tonight where they're trying to defend her. They're just not big and quick enough to keep get in front of her. Yeah, despite her size, she's kind of able to get that shoulder ahead and has been able to draw a foul, I think, at least three separate times. That's Unique Hines' second personal foul. The team six, so we've got one more before the Trojans start to shoot their free throws. Ball's kicked back out to uh, Bree. She drives the lane, throws it up and in off the backboard. She's been able to find that seam and has had success the second half here in some scoring. Well, the inside is open because the big kids are out of the paint. Three baskets in the quarter for Bree Small. Eight points on the game. Seniors step it up when they need it. It's a four-point game. Timeout by Coach Fortune. Again, he doesn't like what he saw there. Well, and now it almost bailed out Lachlan right there. She went for that steal. It was close. That was pretty close. You know, Travis, Travis Fortune's recognizing that his team is not doing a very good job of recognizing this little game defense that West is playing. It appears that we got two people playing a man, three people playing a zone, and they haven't made a very good adjustment to it. We've got a four-point game here with 3.33 left to go. He's got possession. This could be a very important possession. You want to work the ball around, see if they're going to put the pressure on you by coming out of that defense and forcing it out a little bit to force you to make a play. Well, he's been taking the, Kelly Williamson, taking the ball away from the ball handlers, making it difficult for them to handle the ball to, to create a play. The rest of the team kind of settling back into a zone, and uh, so far it's worked. It's allowed them to cut this deficit to four with plenty of time left. And, Three minutes and 33 seconds. You know, North came into this game tonight. They, they had a nice win Friday against Dixon. They were actually behind in the first half, and they came back and won 55-51 with a big second half. So this kind of pressure time seems like a, a good time for North, and they got a four-point lead now as we come down to the final 333. Coach Williams decided they're going to put pressure on from the very beginning here. Force them to pass that ball around. Not going to give the easy uh, even shot. Now you got the double team trap. So see passed what, away, knocked away by Locklear. Oh, again, good coaching by Kelly Williamson. He gets out of that uh, that triangle in two and gets into a full man defense. And North didn't necessarily recognize it real well at first. They settled into it. They're putting pressure on every every time that ball is passed. Driving the lane, in and out. Rebound away comes with West Brunswick. Bree Small pushing it up. Pass to Emil. Now she didn't have shot. They didn't communicate. She's going to hit the three-pointer. Comes up a little short. She had the open three-pointer. And that was not a good sequence by West Brunswick that time. Small did the right job getting the ball down court, getting it up to a shooter. Emil wasn't able to control the basketball, forced her to step out and take a three. There's a traveling violation on the Kayla Ramsey. I think she was looking to what was going on down the court instead of paying attention to what she was doing. A lucky break for West. Tough break for North. Gives the Trojans yet another opportunity. Dangerous pass. They got away with it. 2.50 to go. The Lady Scorpions up by four points. Backdoor pass to Bree Small. She drives the lane a little hard off the backboard. Rebounded again, held by West. Out to Emil. Still got time. Well, now Locklear with the three point shot off the rim, but Bree Small there to pick it up. It bounces away. Now it's with North Brunswick. 
Back and forth, back and forth. And another traveling violation. That's a tough call on Gore. Let me tell you, the last couple of minutes, the Tyra Gore has been as good as anybody out on this court, and she hadn't scored a point. Rebounding, looking up court, playing good defense. That's, that's an excellent player and only a freshman. She gives that ball up. Coach Williamson going to call a timeout here with 2.26 to go. Down by four to the Lady Scorpions. A full timeout. Well, you know, one thing to think about, and I'm not sure there, who's the advantage if there is any advantage. Neither one of these teams shoots free throws very well with the exception of a Jada Bellamy. So if you're West, you can foul. If you're in trouble, you can foul, provided it's not going to foul one of your better players out of the game and take your chance and put them at the line. For that matter, same thing with North, because West hasn't shown any real propensity to make free throws here this evening. This gym is definitely full for the end of this ball game right here in anticipation of the boys' West Brunswick versus North Brunswick high school basketball game following this one. Of course, everybody knows that West Brunswick is undefeated coming into tonight's game. And although, again, as they are not part of the same conference, it's a rivalry game. These guys want to beat each other. They all know each other. Well, and, and I, I think the, the West Brunswick boys, you know, they got a huge target on their back. They are undefeated here, 16-0, coming in towards the end of January. Uh, everybody wants to beat West. It doesn't matter if it's a conference game or not. And we got 226 left to go in this ball game. Ball kicked out all the way to the top of the key. West Brunswick has dropped back into that zone. Now they're coming out of it and into the man-on-man. -man. they got to put pressure on the ball. Good motion movement by North. Good back door. She drives the lane, kicks it back out. Open shot. Good. Unique Hines. It didn't look like Coach Fortune was very happy she took the yeah. shot until after I, it went in. I think that's one of those no, 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 yes, right? So... Traveling violation on Bree Small. That's what happens when the pace and the tempo picks up. West has a propensity for turning it over. Has a big make by Unique Hines, but I, I think you're right. I don't, I'm not so sure Coach Fortune really wanted that shot at that time. Bree Small gets the, the tough job of covering Ramsey right here. She's a good ball handler. And I would find somebody to foul and put him on the line. You're, you're playing the clock as much as anything or anybody right now. Good tip to wet ball tipped away by Emil. Tell you what, I like the way that North has spread the court, looking for the backdoor cuts, being very cautious with the basketball, and taking time off that clock. Time is the ally of North right now. It is the enemy of West. Bachler went for the steal. Ball got, got away from her. Now she's tipped it away. Now traveling violation. She forced that turnover right there. Well, you go for the steal. If you can't get the steal, you're almost better off to foul. Locklear in a bad situation because she's got four and she would sit. But they got the turnover, and that's what they need. Now they have to do something with this possession. Do something good with the basketball. 122 left to go. Down by six. West Brunswick has the ball. Bree Small pushing it up the court, looking for an open girl. She's Leilani going to drive the lane and puts it up. Good. Down to four-point lead. Williamson asking for a foul. He's asking for a foul. Oh, almost at a carrying call. I think Ramsey got away with one that time carrying the basketball. They don't hardly carry that oh. anymore. Leilani ended up taking the foul there. She realized the coach was yelling for a foul. That is her, for, her fifth personal foul, unfortunately. Well, that's going to hurt. But they really needed to stop the clock and put West on the or North on the line. Well, actually, they're not going to shoot yet, are they? Yeah, they will. No, I think that's, that Ten, was the sixth. Six on uh, North or six on West? No, I'm sorry. You're, you're correct. That's, uh, yeah, they are in the bonus. That was her fifth personal foul. Referee's asking for a replacement for her. She's going to be replaced by Ali Ryan. Should be two shots for North Brunswick High School. And these are big free throws for North. 
and for West. And he kinds a 5'6 sophomore. Three points on the night. One for two. First half is good by Unique Hines. Check it. She's one, two, three, four. She's four for six from the line tonight. Shushi along with Jada Bellamy, pretty good free throw shooters. Second half up and good. It's now a six-point game, two possessions to tie. That's a couple of big free throws by a, a tenth grader, Unique Hines. Averages six points a game. And she's got uh, seven right now. Fortune, Coach Fortune asking for a timeout, taking a full timeout to prepare his girls for the last 55.9 seconds to go. What they can expect both on offense and defense against West. Not many three-point shooters and one less with uh, Lalani Emil sitting down. So Mackenzie Benton has made the only three-point shot of the game for West. 36-30, two possessions if you're going with three-point uh, shooting. So still plenty of time, but West has to do a good job of advancing the ball up and getting into a good shooting position. They've found a lot. They've had some luck here recently with driving the lane, uh, but I don't know if the two points are what they're going to be looking to take right now. I think they're going to be looking to take some three pointers from the outside. Well, they still they have they can kind of go either way with uh, you know 56 se seconds left to play. Lots of possessions still on the uh, table here this evening. I think they want they should look for a good shot, the available shot. I don't know how many timeouts they have left. But again, the clock is their enemy. Bree Smalls looks like she's going to go drive right down the lane. Gets away with a travel, it looked like. Looking to kick it back out. Locklear drives the lane, throws a running one-hander off the backboard and good. Down to four points, 40 seconds to go. They need to foul. Inbounds in. Oh, two girls wide open down the court. They've they got a foul. Her. There you go. Bree Small did the right thing. Had to do it, even though she's a good free throw shooter. You had to do it. They lost, uh, what, 21 seconds that time. Did get two points. That's going to put Jada Bellamy on the line. Four two shots, 34.4 seconds to go. First half off the front end. Looks like she had a little tired of legs right there on that one. Yeah, I, I was going to say the same thing, Steve. You know, this kid's logged a lot of minutes tonight. She's only in the 10th grade. Second one overcompensated, but goes off long. Rebound. West is not able to bring it down. It's now kicked back out to North Brunswick's number 24, Elijah Johnson, where she's fouled by Bree Small again. Well, everything went that way. The the way that West wanted it, with the exception of corralling the rebound. Remember, Emil's not in there now. So they're big, but they're not quite as big. First out again coming up short. 28.8 seconds to go. It's still a four-point game, 36-32. Second half long as well off the backboard. This time West comes down with it. Got to advance the ball off. Locklear drives the middle of the lane, passes down low, looking for the open shot. She's got the three off the backboard. Bree Small comes up with it, ball bounces around. All last touch by North Brunswick. It's a good call by the officials and a good call by Coach Williamson now to take a timeout. Set it up, Steve. 36-32 with 11.4 to go. Do you have that four-point play in your pocket? That's what I want to know. Yeah, well, again, they still have plenty of time. If they get an open three, you can take it. But it's not necessary. They still have time to take a good shot, whether it be a two or a three, convert, and then go for the steal. If they can't make the steal, put them on the line and work hard for that board and maybe come up with a shot. As proof we saw in the first half, the way the first half ended with Locklear driving down the lane pushing it out to another wet lady Trojan for a buzzer beater right there at the end of the first half. Yeah, and that was uh, what 4.6 seconds. So a lot of possessions still left in 11.4 seconds to play. It's been a great, great game. I think a lot more competitive than a lot of folks would have thought. 
I agree 100%. They, you, you're seeing the improvement in West Brunswick. I, I kind of saw what I expected from North Brunswick. They were a pretty solid program. Uh, but West Brunswick, I was anticipating and, and received better performance by them. Bree Smalls going deep, goes after her own shot, comes down with the rebound. West Brunswick tries to throw it up. No foul call. And unfortunately, that's the ball game. 36-32 in this Brunswick County inner inner county rivalry. The Lady Scorpions come away with it over the Lady Trojans. 36 to 32.